Tomorrow will bring innovations like the heat pump, which electrically heats your house in winter and cools it in summer. At the agency, heat pumps we see as one of the next major clean technologies that the world needs to focus on. We've seen huge gains in solar, we've seen huge gains with electric vehicles. Heat pumps is the next in line to have their moment. Yeah, so for the longest time, heating a home implied that we had to burn something. So burning wood, burning charcoal, or natural gas, coal uh, or oil, usually the boiler. The fossil fuel boiler uses fossil fuels, burns them to create heat to warm our homes. The heat pump is a little bit different in that these refrigerants that are used in heat pumps, they boil at really low temperatures. And this is part of the secret sauce that allows them to be able to move this uh, heat around effectively. So it would boil on one side by absorbing some of that heat. You then condense that and then release that heat then on the other side. It's much more efficient because it's not trying to create this heat, but taking it from elsewhere in the environment and moving it to where you want that heat to be. Heat pumps can provide the same level of comfort as a traditional heating equipment in both existing buildings and the new buildings. And as a matter of fact, the countries with the highest level of heat pump adoption uh, are uh, Finland and Norway, Sweden, countries with uh, very low temperatures uh, during the winter season. Because of how much more efficient they are, the switch, even in grids that are highly dependent on coal and other polluting fossil fuels, creates an improvement and a reduction in emissions and improves air quality by reducing the pollution in the air. So it's already a good move today, and this is just going to keep getting better over time. As more renewables come on the grid, new commitments globally, including the one at COP for tripling renewables, is already going to really rapidly shift how we get our energy and reduce the volume of uh, fossil fuels used to produce that electricity.